Hi guys, I'm Jen Johns. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for this video that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to be delivering a Galaxy Cupcake via a cupcake drone. Can you believe it? I'm going to deliver this cupcake in this drone and I'm super excited to show you guys. So my friends are out camping at a lake nearby and they're always wanting cupcakes and my extra cakes and you guys are always asking what I do with them and I give it to my friends and family but I just don't have time to drive everything all around town anymore. So what I thought would be an awesome idea was to create a cupcake delivery drone to send them the sweet treats via the air. So what I did was I put together this drone and then I've got my cupcake over here ready for transportation. So here is the clamshell that it's going to be sitting in and then I'm just going to close that up. It's nice and tight and then attach the clamshells attached to the parachute. So when we drop it off of the drone, the parachute will make sure that the cupcake stays nice and safe. So I'm gonna be heading out later to join my friends after I send the cupcake on its way. So I can't wait to see their faces um, when I get there and see what they thought about the cupcake drone. So I'm gonna send this off first and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the Galaxy Cupcake tutorial. So my cupcake drone is ready for its inaugural voyage. I can't wait to get it on its way and I can't wait for my friends to get it. So wish me luck. Here we go. So it looks like the cupcake delivery was a success. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own Galaxy cupcakes. So let's get started on the tutorial portion. To make the cupcakes, we're going to be using five different colors of vanilla cake batter. I've got black, purple, blue, pink, and white, and I just colored them each individually. You can use my recipe, which is in the description box, or you can use your own favorite one for that. You can also use my recipe for homemade buttercream if you choose. And we're going to be using that and we're going to be coloring it with the same colors that we did the cake batter. We've got black, purple, blue, white, and pink again in gel paste. We're going to use that a little bit later. Now we're also going to be using large chunks of rock candy. I've kind of got the same matching or, or coordinating colors to go with that. We're going to use some star edible glitter little pieces and then some edible um, super sparkly silver glitter. We're going to use some silver dragees and we need some cola bottles. So this recipe is going to make about 18 to 22 cupcakes and what I'm going to do first is just start with black at the bottom. I'm just squeezing a little bit out. You can use spoons too if you don't want to use piping bags. And I'm just kind of trying to alternate between the dark colors of the cake batter and the light colors. You also might notice that what I've got happening is like a little bit more black than I have of the other colors. And that's because in between each of these other colors, I'm going to put in a little bit of black as well. So that's going to just kind of add more of a galaxy look to the cupcake itself. So I'm just layering here and you want to put enough um, batter into this to make sure that it's about two thirds full, your, your cupcake liner here. I've got them lined with um, just a nice like little paper wrapper there. And I need some blue. So I'm just, and I want to end with black. So I'm starting and ending with black because I want that color to have to pop through on the galaxy here. So I've got this here. So once you've got your cupcakes kind of filled up like that, 
You can take like a knife or a sharp implement. I've just got what I found works really well because it's not too thick um, and it's not too skinny is the end of a chopstick. So I'm just gonna put this into the well and I'm going to stir and kind of like bring the colors up and around and into the cake here. So if you want, like this one I can see is missing a little bit of the pink look. So all I have to do is like just pop a little pink in there and you can add more color in if you want to at any point. So I've got the oven preheating at 350 degrees and what I'm going to do is pop these in for about 20 minutes. So now we're going to work on the buttercream. Here at the end of my piping bag, I have a 1M tip. It's an open star tip, but you could use any tip for this effect. Now to make my life a little bit easier, what I'm doing is just stationing it inside this cup here. So I'm just, I already bent it backwards there so it would fit properly. And this is just gonna make things easier, but you don't have to do that part. Now I'm going to take each of the gel pastes and I'm just going to squeeze a bit down the sides. I am gonna go, like normally if I was striping it, I would go uh, with much less um, piping gel than what I have now. But because I am, I really want strong, strong colors here, I'm making sure that I put a significant amount of the color in here and I've got the black now and I'm going to put black in a couple other spots too just to kind of get that darkness all around there and then with the pink here I'm going to squeeze that in on the side here now if I've if you want to like get anything moved around here I just find like a skewer you can help move that around on the edges and if you're mixing up the color inside there it does not matter because it's all going to mix very soon anyways and that's what we that's totally what we want anyways so I've got that one all set there. Then taking a larger spoon, you can put your buttercream right into the bag and it's going to blend and as it pops down here. So if you need to refill your bag, you will have to do this step again, um, but that's as easy, super, super easy. Pull it off and then you can shake it down to the bottom and we're ready to go. With our buttercream ready and our cupcakes completely cooled, you never wanna put your icing on your cupcake before it's totally cool or it'll just roll right off. What I'm gonna do is squeeze into the center there and you can see those colors start to come. And then I'm going to wrap around, just building up around that centerpiece. And we've got beautifully swirled buttercream here. Let's do that again here, squeeze in the center and then all the way around coming up to the top here. So as you cover the cupcakes, it will get a little bit lighter with more white, depending on the look that you want. You can see that it still looks kind of cool like that. Um, but if, you, if at this point you wanted it to be darker like the first one was, then you'd have to switch out your bag again. So after we've got the buttercream swirls piped on the top, I've got my white coloring here in this bowl and I'm just going to dip in a paintbrush that I use for baking. And I'm going to get the end covered there. I don't want that much actually, a little bit too much there. And then what I'm going to do is just hold it over top here of the cupcake. And I'm just going to take my finger and then splatter it on the top there to give it like that look of the stars and the galaxy on top there. So I'm gonna move over to one across here and I'm gonna do that again. And the white stuff does kind of get everywhere. So be prepared for that part. And the big splats, the smaller ones, it all gives that more of a kind of a realistic galaxy look to it. I'm gonna put some more of these bigger ones back over here. And so I'm just going to continue to do that and finish off these last two. So now we're going to work on decorating the top of the cupcake. Now I'm going to be using a variety of different things to put onto the top, but you can make it work however you please. I'm gonna put my chunks of rock candy up here, probably about two per cupcake. And then I want a large cola ball there put on. And then randomly around here, the outside, I want to get the silver draw jays put on. And I'm just gonna kind of scatter those around. And then I'm going to work with my favorite stuff, my edible glitter, and sprinkle that on the top here. And get that all over the cupcake. You just need a little touch of that. Just around there like that, give it a nice sparkle and waste it on there. And then I'm also going to take some of the um, edible glitter stars and get those on there too. So they'll come off, just kind of dump them on there like that. So I'm going to finish off a bunch of these cupcakes so you guys can see um, what they're going to look like. 
So there you go guys, here are my galaxy cupcakes and I've sliced one in half so you can see the cool swirl on the inside as well. And then I also finished them off with a kind of like a galaxy looking cupcake wrapper for the outside. It just gives them a little bit extra of a better presentation. So I'm going to be heading out to join Chrissy and Molly now and I can't wait to see what they thought of the cupcake delivery. Well, I think it's safe to say the cupcake delivery was a smashing success. I can see that you got it and that she enjoyed it. It's all over her face. <laughs> She's going to want this every day now. Uh, I don't know about that, but it will make my job a little bit easier if I can work that out because I don't have time to drive around to all you guys who want cupcakes all the time. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Apparently you're going to be watching for a cupcake drone at a campsite near you. Look at and my snake. Excellent job making that snake. Yeah. Can I have it? Thank you. Look at this orange. It is orange. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all again next time. Can you say bye? Bye.